Hey survivors, it's your girl Mariko here and today I want to talk about mental health in men and what we can do to help our men and you know not have a horrible outlook on mental health you know men should be strong men shouldn't cry men shouldn't be in tune with their emotions that's all bull crap guys we all know it's rubbish there is mental health in females and there's certainly mental health in men especially when they've been told from a very young age that they need to suck it up they need to be a man they need to you know um disregard those emotions throw throw those emotions in a bin fear is is it, it doesn't exist you know anxiety doesn't exist you can't be a man if you're not that this type of man you have to be a man and that means being strong at all times and not actually having any type of emotions when it comes down to being sad come on guys we know that's rubbish and what can we do to help our fellow man um i just feel my personal opinion on it i think it's really really damaging to tell anybody or any man that you know they're less of a man because they cry they're less of a man because they're hurt by some real stuff that's going on in their life they're less of a man because they are in tune with their feminine side or whatever the case may be no you're not boo boo i'm here to tell you that that makes you a man whatever you are makes you a man do you understand like if you cry you're manly like you're not a robot who wants to be a robot who wants to do that you are setting men up to have a mental illness you're setting them up because bottling, bottling all of that inside is not healthy y'all. it's not healthy at all all to just go about your day-to-day -day life and not have emotion about stuff that happens to you you can't cry you can't be sad you can't be down you can't have a down day no that's that's wrong you know like i i i was in a similar situation like that you know oh suck it up it ain't that bad there's other people out there that's going they're going through worse things than you okay that is true there's always going to be someone else worse off but this is how it makes me feel you can't just belittle my feelings and tell me to suck it up because you find that it's nothing to be upset about that's you and, and, and I'm happy for you I'm happy that you don't find all the things that I find to be you know depressing and stuff like that i don't want other people to feel like me when i'm going through a, a depressive state i want them to be uplifted and be happy i'm not, i'm not about that type of person that misery does company no i'm not like that so i just feel like you guys we all we all need to be more aware of our words and how we we present and, and how we talk to other people we can't be telling anybody that their feelings mean is, is that much like is that small who are we to judge and who are we to turn around and tell somebody that they're not going through something really bad you know not everybody has walked your shoes not everybody's gone through what you've gone through so as far as i'm concerned and where you should be concerned is just listen 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 to them men have mental illness and it's and we are part of the problem we can't keep telling our men or our boys that they need to suck it up and wear tear tear and all the rest of it and just and just get on with it because that's not how everybody's mind functions some people need that extra loving and care and that extra push and that's okay some people need medication and you know that is also okay stop pill shaming people stop telling people that they that, that, that they're not strong because they take a pill to help them get out of bed every day ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so, just have it in your mind that not everybody's like you and you know you'll do really 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 great in life and i just come out I've, I've spoken to a couple of men and it's sad to know that at any one time the people that were telling them that they needed to suck it up and they, they they're less of a man are either their partners or their mothers or their fathers you know the the, the people that you would feel that you could come and talk to at any one time and be your true self and not get any type of stigma thrown at you and that makes it worse it makes it worse to know that that's your mom that's your dad that's your partner that's basically brushing aside the way that you feel because as far as they're concerned if you if you discuss those things you're less than a man 
we need to do better we need to do better we need to listen to our partners we need to uplift them just like they uplift us in our time of need you know hey baby you okay hey gorgeous hi you tired That's my baby she's sleeping um we need to be there for them you know oh women are emotional creatures so we're automatically you know wrapped in cotton wool and and looked after and somehow that is how it has to be you know the man is at the head of the family and they need to do this and they need to do that because the women are more emotional stuff like that no it's 2017 people we need to realize that mental health is is real it's out there double because you don't physically see it doesn't mean it's not real people it is absolutely out there and it is so bad when you're going through it and men get it the worst in some in some cases because as i said they are seen less than anything if they if they turn around and they say oh you know what i feel sad about this or i feel down about this come baby Get you. Oh, two seconds, guys. Hello. She just woke up, so she's miserable. But yeah, I feel that there's so much stigma out there, and you really don't want it on your doorstep. We just need to listen more, love more, and be more understanding, and have an open mind and an open heart when it comes down to mental illness we all come from all different types of walks of life you have no idea what another person's gone through and even if you did know that you have no right to turn around and say that oh i've been through worse than you so you should really not really be you know complaining they ain't gone through what you've gone through and you should be grateful if you feel like you've gone through something worse than that person then you should be grateful that they if you care anything about them you should you should be happy that they did not go through what you went through you shouldn't be belittling them and making their feelings non-existent to you because as far as you're concerned you've gone through this big bad thing and that makes you some stronger person more than that other person no we all have gone through our own stuff our own demons every single day and you should just be listening and uplifting your fellow man and you should also be uplifting your female friends as well like all this um peer pressure and stuff is scary you know i have five children and i fret for them when they go to school when they're around other people when they're around you know um their friends what could they be oh big young what could they be you know um seeing what could they be what could we saying to them it's you know at the end of the day when kids start school they're, they're half of their well more than half of their day is not with you you can't parent them when they're at school you are literally putting that responsibility in in teachers hands that you don't know you don't know and you're putting that into their friends hands that you don't know either so they're gonna learn a lot from their friends they're gonna learn a lot from their teachers and it's up to you as a parent to either want to be a a strict parent a parent that is so not in tune with their child or you could be the parent that listens that understands that asks questions that gets to the bottom of things and you know listens with an open heart and an open mind like i just feel that it starts at home it starts at home no one's born a racist no one's born hating another person no one's born thinking that they're better than anybody else we all learn bad habits along the way and some things are learned from their parents and some things are learned from school and friends it's up to us to find a balance and be that person in our children's life and teach them right from wrong and you know just be there in it baby it's done to us honey bunny so yes i just wanted to talk about that you know i feel that men have it hard men have it rough and it's just it's it's very scary to know that they're fighting a battle and you have no idea of that battle because as far as they're concerned they're scared or ashamed to discuss that with you because as far as they're, they're concerned they have been brought up 
to not show emotion because the moment that they did in the past they were told that you know they better suck it up you, what, what are you talking about you have nothing to be be upset about your man and men not meant to be upset and I just find that really really sad and if you have anybody in your life that you feel is going through something just be that person that they turn to and listen to them because sometimes that's all anybody needs is someone that they can be a hundred and ten percent their true self with be that person because you never know you'll need that from them or anybody else you know put out there in the world that you would like to receive and you know get along with others I, I truly believe that we bring in what we put out and I just wanted to touch on that so let me know in the comments below if you feel that this is a big issue that we can combat together it's been your girl Mariko and your girl Kiki who has made a little appearance in my video because she's woken up and she's tired um, just know that you're loved, you're all that anybody needs, you're amazing, keep surviving. Mwah. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>